Hello guys, Jboy here bringing you a GTA Online video. So Rockstar today have released their summer update. Um, it's quite surprising actually because I didn't realise um, the update was coming and I didn't realise it would include as much stuff as it seems to have. Um, so there are quite a few new vehicles that have been added to the various um, websites um, there's a few in legendary motorsport and there's a few in southern san andreas super autos um, there is also an update to the yachts which is probably good news for anyone who's purchased a yacht um, if you're anything like me you will maybe see the yachts as a little bit of a disappointment um, because there's never really been much you can do on them other than the one ceo mission um, and obviously you know the novelty of having a yacht is pretty cool but uh, they are just kind of stationary and it costs you every time you need you you want to move it and there's kind of nothing else you can really do on them at the moment so um, this looks quite cool I did actually check it out earlier um, and it seems to be that there's a mission that you can initiate by going up to the captain's quarters so I haven't done the mission yet so I think what I'm going to do is another video on that mission itself um, and see how much that money that mission brings in it is actually double XP and double money at the moment um, so what I'm going to do now is bring up the uh, websites to show you the new vehicles. Um, I'm quite pleased actually because there's two new F1 vehicles um, and I was about to buy the Pro Gen uh, PR4 so I'm quite glad that this update has happened now so that I can see which one I want to buy. Um, I actually really like the look of this red one here. Um, I like the kind of front and how it looks but it's the cheapest one which makes me think maybe it's not quite as fast or or as agile as the other ones but um i'll have to figure out which one of those to buy and um yeah let you guys know if it is any good um the other car that's been added that i quite like the look of is this one here it's quite futuristic but also classic looking um yeah, it looks quite good i quite like that in orange as well um so i think in total it's four cars on a legendary motorsport um so, so there's quite a few on there uh if we go to southern san andrea super autos there is a total of five cars um this one here has got to be a must buy for every GTA online player I can't wait to get one of these I'll probably put it in orange um, and do all sorts of um, hopefully there's lots of modifications to do on that one anyway um, what I think I would do is when I purchase that is do a video on all of the different modifications you can do to it because um, you know if they if they haven't added loads of modifications I'll be a little bit disappointed and don't want anyone else to waste their money on it if that's the case but I think I've got good hopes for that one um, there's also this little one based on the Volkswagen GTI which uh, which looks really cool I can't wait to get my hands on that um, these other two not really too bothered about those um, this one also looks pretty cool nice muscle car um, but yeah that's that's the cars on southern san andreas um there's nothing unfortunately in warstock nothing new and no discounts um rockstar don't seem to have been very big on the discounts on this update i've checked um elitus travel as well there's nothing in there and i don't think there's any in either of the motor um motorsport websites either so no discounts there is however a discount on arcades um i think it's around 30 or 40 percent but it's quite a big discount uh so if you're if you've been sitting on whether to buy an arcade or not for a while to do the casino heist then i'd recommend getting yourself an arcade now even if you don't have the money to get your heist up and going it's probably the best time to buy one i think the cheapest over here 
Yeah, so that'll set you back 1.3 mil. Um, there's various stuff you can obviously add to your arcade, which is going to cost you a bit more money. Um, but one thing that you can do from the arcade is run all of your businesses from one place, which is a very good feature. I've not actually bought one yet because I did the casino heist with a friend who already had an arcade. Um, but I think there's a few benefits with the arcade that are very worth having so I'll probably get myself one of those while they're on offer. Um, so that is as far as I know all of the new things that you can purchase. Um, I'll be sure to purchase a few of those and do a review on them um, so that you guys know whether it's a worthwhile purchase or not. Uh, so lastly, the last thing I just wanted to show you was this new yacht feature. So you can see you've got a letter there. Um, actually, while before I go in there, I was given a notification that there's a Solomon mission. So right here, I've had the S pop up um, telling me that there's a mission to do there as well so that's something brand new that I haven't seen before so that uh, unless that's something I've completely missed uh, it looks like a new f um, feature for this update uh, so I will need to check that out when I do the next video um, so this one here yeah this is the new um, mission that's available in the yacht you have to go into the captain's quarter so I'll just go in here I did do this earlier and it doesn't give you an awful lot of information other than putting you into a mission. So it says to play a super yacht life overboard. If I go into that it brings up um, the usual kind of um, game lobby and from there I can set the difficulty and invite people. Um, what I think I will do with this one is a separate video covering that mission. I, I was kind of under the impression there was more missions but maybe they unlock as you as you go along um, but it's, it's well worth doing at the moment anyway because it's two times RP and two times um, uh, money so well worth doing. Um, I think these missions are probably available to you if you don't have a yacht because I did just get invited to one uh, from a separate player so um, it doesn't look like you have to have a yacht to actually play these missions, but you have to have a yacht to be able to start them. I can't confirm that because I have a yacht, so maybe maybe I got invited to it because I have a yacht, but um, it does look like you can play them. So I I'd hope so anyway, because obviously a lot of my friends don't have a yacht, so if I can't play with them, it seems, it seems a bit silly. So yeah, I think there may still be no reason to buy a yacht and you can still play those missions, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't go out and spend 10 million just yet, um, unless unless you really, really, really want a yacht, um, then maybe just hold on to your money for a bit. Uh, that is all from me in this video, guys. I will be releasing a new video covering um, some reviews of the new vehicles um, and a review of the new yacht mission um, and hopefully more yacht missions. I I know from looking at Rockstar's um, what's been kind of released of their updates so far that there is a scuba diving mission so that would be pretty cool because um, it's kind of been a while since Rockstar have done a lot of sea based missions which are quite enjoyable. Uh, thank you for listening guys I will speak to you soon.